respect to our former colleague, by the way. Uh, welcome and take a look, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, members of the European Parliament, colleagues, good morning, everyone. I'd like to start today by thanking the Regional Development Committee in the European Parliament. I would also like to thank the two rapporteurs, Mr. Novakov and Madam Tomasic, for their reports. I'd like to start by talking about balance, the report on balancing um, financial instruments and grants in the EU pol cohesion policy. The European Commission welcomes this report. It deals with a very important topic um, pertaining to current discussions. The proposals that you have adopted in the framework of the MFF review is also going to have an important impact on cohesion policy post-2020. The European Commission believes that a proper balance between financial instruments and grants will allow for proper regional uh, development. I think we all recognise the fact that we have to work together to ensure that this is a success. First of all, uh, we have to look at the ta type of uh, financing, but also look at the characteristics of each uh, region and each sector. We think that a large part of cohesion policy um, it will have to be financed by um, grants, and, and that can't be otherwise. There are some areas, such as uh, schools, uh, health care, etc., which do not generate any revenue. Uh, there are other um, types of financing which will generate profits. As you know, we encourage all member states to uh, look for technical assistance because all regions, including the poorest regions, should have the opportunity to use these financial instruments. The Commission therefore uh, supports the use of these financial instruments. Then there's the principle of responsibility. I think that this is something that will uh, uh, allow a cohesion policy to better work on the ground and to ensure that we're working with the most appropriate partners without whom we could not carry out our programs. Uh, local strategic partners have a strategic role in identifying the financial instruments and grants that will be best suited to each region. National and uh, regional banks also have an important role and should help us to um, consolidate our ability to uh, act and to invest better. The omnibus proposal uh, provides for um, direct grants. Of course, we in the Commission uh, welcome the fact that these have been adopted by the uh, principal, uh, by the Parliament, and we hope that um, Council will adopt them as soon as possible as well. Uh, we also want to ensure that we have uh, safe projects which will be sustainable and long in duration. On uh, Madam Tomasic's report on future perspectives for technical assistance in cohesion policy, the Commission also, of course, welcomes this report. There are um, several initiatives in the Commission, including the peer to peer initiatives. I carry out uh, visits every week to member states, but I think that I get the impression sometimes that even ministers don't know all of the tools that are made available to them through the Commission. We created these uh, tools precisely to help member states. We have uh, 250,000 workers on the ground uh, dealing with European funds but to a lesser and more uh, higher degree. We've been working in this area for um, 40 years now since the Regional Development 
uh, fund was created. There are some countries that have only been working on it for about 10 years, Romania, Bulgaria, other four years. But these um, policies are fundamental. They allow us to have contact with local experts and um, uh, technical experts to have closer contact with member states and regions and uh, local councils. In some member states, there is a very low level of demand for these type of instruments. If a member state tells us that they need technical assistance on public procurement, for example, the Commission will act within five days, will go on the ground and um, employ experts who know the region in greater detail. So I would like to encourage greater use of these instruments because the Commission makes them available to member states for free. And I very much welcome this, this report because you make clear, precise proposals for better take-up of technical assistance. And this is, of course, also going to be very important in the post-2020 discussions. I would also like to emphasize the fact that the Commission would urge member states to have a more targeted approach to how they use financial instruments. For example, using technical assistance in order to finalize implementation of uh, ex-ante conditionalities. Uh, also inviting fraud and corruption. Sometimes member states use technical assistance to cover wage costs for staff, for instance. So I appreciate uh, both Mrs. Tomasic and Mr. Novakov's reports who uh, recognize challenges such as brain drain, uh, demographic problems for less developed regions. We're here to provide help. And you are right to say that sometimes uh, training education is more important than the money. The money. So I'm very happy to see that uh, both rapporteurs have emphasised member states' responsibility. Because when it comes to implementation, responsibility lies wholly with member states. Member states have to be able to ensure that local authorities can um, play their full role. I would agree with you in saying that we can improve the use of technical assistance and we have to support its development. We're very much at the beginning of the debate on the future of the cohesion policy. We want to work on increasing the use of technical assistance at the very beginning of uh, each period and that it's looked at before projects are selected or launched. That's one of the ideas on the table. That would increase the use of technical assistance but also provide support for local and regional uh, authorities in planning their projects. It's very important for us to learn lessons from the past and uh, not to repeat uh, the delays that we've, we're seeing at the moment and that we saw seven years ago. We want to also better target uh, technical assistance on beneficiaries and ex ensure exchange of experience between regions. So thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Diviotti also emphasised the importance of the FC and SE funds uh, and how they can be used on the ground. And I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Madam Commissioner, for your very interesting uh, speech. And now, on behalf of AGRI, uh, Agricultural Committee, uh, Deputy Mikhail Viegas. One minute, please. 